Welcome back, YouTubers. I'm going to attempt to do an estimate on uh, DC power to run a, an AC fridge as a uh, freezer, as a refrigerator. I've got the uh, Power Max. I'm going to feed my. Uh, I got a pair of, of uh, deep cell batteries. We really only need probably one to run a refrigerator, but I've got a, a pair here. That's not going to make a difference because what I've got them, I got them topped off, and my Power Max is delivering 14 watts just uh, not delivering any power just that's what it takes to run the power max that'll go up as soon as I flip something on I've got the uh, Sunforce inverter here which is a thousand watt true sine wave let me turn that on and uh, see what my I'm spiking up to about 28 it's probably going to settle in so each one of those is roughly roughly 15 watts so it's just if I run these two of course, I'm not going to be running the Power Max if I was running off a solar application. Um, but I don't have time to do solar and figure out how long. I don't have that much of a panel. But I can figure this guy is going to run uh, 14 watts of overhead. And so I'll, you know, obviously going to do a, a DC loss conversion um, going from DC to AC. And I've got another loss going from uh, AC to DC. So that's going to show up all at the, the kilowatts. So I'm going to have to do some estimating. But I've got an amp meter, and uh, I'll see what kind of amps are uh, being pulled. This guy, since I know it's pulling about um, 15 watts or so, it should be about an amp of DC. I've had it settle a little lower. So, yeah, 12 watts would be one amp. And I'm 1.3 there. I know this will jump around. So 1.3 sounds right. So that's what it's taking, and that's how I'm going to measure. I, 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 let me hook up the, the fridge now and uh, try to get that running off this thing. So I plug the uh, uh, power cord into the inverter, and I've got it running to my, my Johnson control, which controls the temperature. And uh, this is an Igloo brand. I think it's 3.5 cubic foot freezer. Right now it's not even cycling on. I've got it filled with drinks, and here's where the Johnson cable wire goes in. So I'm going to have to wait for it to kick in here, because it doesn't run. It's uh, all powered off when it's uh, not running. I know that when it is running, it'll, you know, it pulls an initial uh, motor load of, I don't know, 700, 500, maybe more, because my meters can't even read that quick. But it'll settle down, and it'll run, the compressor will run about 60 watts when it's, uh, when it's on. So I know that, and I know it runs at uh, um, 175 watts per day, or roughly three hours worth of time. So I'm just going to do a quick calculation once this guy fires up, and I see what it's drawing. All right, I got a little board waiting for this thing to, uh, to kick on. So I'm just going to plug it in straight, plug it in as a freezer. That's the beauty about this Johnson control. You can convert it right back to a freezer instantaneously. When I fire on this switch, this guy is going to chirp at me probably. Yeah, because it's kicking in the compressor. This goes to 700 real quick because the, the battery charger, this is a 55 amp um, charger over there, so I'm not going to run away from that. That's going to fill up the batteries again after a minute or so. And we're going to let this settle down. It's at the 150 range right now. But more importantly, this guy over here is pulling, um, it's dropping right now. So it started a little high. That compressor starts to settle down to 60 watts. So it takes about a minute or so for it to get from that really high wattage down to that 60 watts. So the inverter, it looks like it's going to settle in about 8 amps. Let's see exactly what it does. So again, you got some loss. Obviously 60 watts would be 5 amps. But you do have some loss uh, converting that, that power out. It was such a slow power. It's not like we're at a thousand watts that we're pulling out of this inverter. Uh, it gets to be a little inefficient. And this guy's settling down. And I'll just wait for it to, uh, to come up there and we'll get a final number on that. And so I guess that was kind of the final number. Uh, basically it's hovering right around 8 amps pulling out of the, the battery. And um, with the inverter on providing uh, compressor kick in, the compressor's working down there. And uh, overall the whole system 120 120 uh, watts 
but uh, I'll go ahead and do some math online here and that uh, it's the 8 amps that are coming out of the battery that's what you need to replace again that's going to run for three hours a day and then it's going to pull one amp or 1.3 amps or whatever just running the inverter the whole time I guess you don't have to do that necessarily but but uh, that's what you would want to do if you want to run that full time to condition the system so let me do that math and figure out you know probably what kind of solar panel you would need but you need a, a good inverter or an inverter uh, probably other inverters would do just fine uh, this one happens to be a true sine wave it's a little expensive but uh, a lot cheaper than than some of those uh, like the angle coolers and stuff like that that are a thousand bucks just for the freezer cooler so um, hope you enjoyed watching it have a good day